you've probably seen headlines about high inflation and the warnings that interest rates could soon rise as a result. But why is that? Well, you can find out by reading these economics textbooks. Just crack the first one open and let's get started. Just kidding. Here's the answer in a nutshell. Inflation and interest rates tend to have what's called an inverse correlation. When one rises, the other usually falls. Recall that inflation is the rate at which the price of goods and services rises over time. It's often driven by the amount of money in circulation. More money out there means each dollar is worth relatively less. So businesses tend to charge more for their products to keep pace. Well, low interest rates tend to increase the supply of money because they encourage people to borrow and spend. When they're flashing all that cash, it can be great for the economy, but it can also spur inflation. When inflation runs hot, a country's central bank might raise its benchmark interest rate. Higher rates discourage people from borrowing and spending. And the central bank can take some money out of circulation, which might cool down inflation. So you can think of interest rates as a control lever for inflation, but they're hardly the only factor. If you want to understand all the others, then put on a pot of coffee. You'll be reading those textbooks for quite some time.